Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to log in without SMS code, just as you had seen on the title of this video. Um, those of you who are using foreign people accounts and most times um, loss or lose access to your phone number, this video is for you. So I want you to watch from the beginning to the end and do not forget to leave a like, a wonderful comment and share this video to your friends. So they too can benefit from this video. Okay, so let's not say too much. Um, just like I said, today's video is all about logging into a PayPal account without using SMS code. Uh, you know, the SMS code that we sent to your phone number, then whatever number you're using, we are going to avoid that in today's video. I'm going to show you how to do this. Just in case you get logged out permanently for a PayPal account, you have to do this before, you know, um, you get logged out. And it's going to save you a lot when it comes to, you know, those of you who understand what I'm trying to talk about in terms of um, phone number, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click on these three horizontal lines by the left of my screen. And then click on the settings icon here. Okay. All right. So here is, it says accounts. I'm going to click um, security. All right. So you can see it says create a password, pass key. But we are going to look for this two-step verification. All right. I think already you must have downloaded your Google Authenticator app from your phone if you have not you have to head to your google play store and download your google authenticator app because that's where we'll be copying uh keys here to paste there to generate codes anytime we want to log in okay so we'll be using our google authenticator app to log into our account henceforth you won't have any issues in case you lost your phone number or you no longer have access to your phone number all you have to do is just to head to your google authenticator app and then you paste the code and uh, you copy the code from your Google Authenticator app and then you paste it and voila, you'll be able to log into your PayPal account. So let's click on two-step verification. Okay, so it says, help keep your account more secure with two-factor authentication. Each time you log in, you use a one-off code in addition to your password. Choose how you get your code. Okay, so we're going to be using the Authenticator app, like I said. Okay, and you can see below here, it says, use a security key device, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to be using the Authenticator app. So let's click on use an Authenticator app. Okay, so... We can do two things okay we can either we can either scan the qr code we have here or we can manually um copy the um 16 digit code here and go to our authenticator app paste it and you know to add to our google authenticator so this is the 16 digit here okay so i'm going ahead to my authenticator app right now so this is my google authenticator so you can see here this plus sign by the right uh, bottom here i clicked on it and it says scan a qr code or enter a setup key but for me i'm not using another device okay to log into my people account so it's on this particular phone so i'm not going to scan a qr code i'm going to enter a setup key which is the 16 digit code i just copied so i'm going to paste it here okay uh and here i have account name so i'm going to put it um linda smith PayPal account. Okay, uh, time based. Okay, let's just leave it at time and then we click on add. So it's going to add to the list I have here. So it says authenticator code save. Um, let's look for it. Okay, you can see that's the last one we have here. So now I'm going to quickly copy it because there's a timer. It expires after one minute. I'm going to copy here and I'm going to paint, paste it here because that's not all. I have to confirm. So I'm going to click on confirm. All right, before I can then use it to log in. So he says, um, okay, I think it's refreshing. So now they want to confirm if it is me through my number. You know, I'm doing this because I still have access to my phone number. So you have to do this before you lost your phone number, okay? Do this now if you have a PayPal account, okay? And maybe you don't know, at any time there might be a, 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 a time where you might misplace your phone number and no longer have access to it. So do this before you, you, you lose your phone number, all right? So... Okay, so there was nothing wrong actually so i'm going to click on two-step verification you can see that it has been activated that's why you can see here it says turn off if i want to turn it off where i am not turning it off so let's do one thing real quick to confirm if this is going to work okay let's log out from the account logging out from the account okay so this is where we have log out i'm going to log out Log out for my account and then let's log in again and let's see they give us the opportunity to use um you know the two-factor uh, authentication code okay so it says enter your code 
enter the six digit security code from your authenticator app can you see right now that we can now get codes using our google authenticator app so let me now head to my google authenticator app to get my code okay like i told you it has a timer so um let's quickly copy it before the timer is over and before the time elapses and again click continue And that's it guys i have successfully logged into my account using the google authenticator method okay i have activated the two-factor authenticator on my paypal account and yeah you can see that i can log in with the code so i don't need to worry whenever i lost my phone number or i no longer have access to my phone number i can log into my paypal account using the google authenticator app okay so for i because I, I realize that a lot of you have been having issues with this phone number some of you you no longer have access to your phone number and then you're you're uh you are logged out of your paypal account completely you are no longer uh log into paypal account uh because of that so anyways i believe this video has been explanatory enough and if you did obtain value from this video please let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like subscribe and share this video to your friends so they can also benefit just like you have i'll be seeing you guys in my next video